Stone Science. Stone Science. Mm-hmm. It's Eric Kwan. It's here, it's Hoy. And it's DJ Fact Checker. DJ. What's going on, everybody? I'm DJ Fact Checker, and I'll be here all episode long checking the facts and dropping the tracks. So how are you checking the facts this week? I'm using the internet. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. All right. Okay, that works. So, Terrific. Yeah. I'm dropping science. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Well. All right. Damn. All right. Damn. <laughs> All right. So we got a special guest this week. We got a special guest. I'm so special. So special. So special. And uh, so yeah, the guest is James. Yeah. Hey James. James. Hey. 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 hey James. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, James, uh, so I hear you've got a you've got a topic that you want to talk about. Um, what are you gonna be talking about this week? Uh, today I'm gonna be telling you about some uh, marine life. Wow. Well, oh, 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 all right. Oh. For this thing called the Portuguese Man of War. Wow. Well, oh. Man of War. Which is like a very oh. complicated, weird kind of animal because it's. Uh, like it's one animal but it's like four different kinds of animals and they like reproduce asexually to form all the other different types so the first one is the uh, is the air sac Mm -hmm. the pneumatophore so it creates all the different things that it needs to survive and then it has like you know it'll have a whole bunch of tentacles or a whole bunch of stomachs doesn't have a brain it just has like decentralized uh, nerve nets. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah. it's like yeah. not a conscious thing. It just like floats through the water. Oh. I want to see. I want to see how this thing looks like. What do you, yo, what do you yo, think it looks yo. like? I, yo, sounds like like a jellyfish, man. Sounds like a jellyfish. Can we uh, can we get some facts here? You know, some pictures. You know. Yeah. You know, Back checker. Can we get a a photo? Ah, ah, oh. 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 oh, oh, all right. All so right. that's what it is. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, okay. Look like the like fishes, man. Like, like, looks uh, kind of dangerous. Yeah, it's like you, it's like somebody just uh, blew up uh, a plastic bag. You know, one of those bags <laughs> that you get, uh, you put your, uh, you know, yeah. broccoli in or something, right? Oh, uh, and that just upside down. But somebody just blew it up. Yeah. Yeah, that I that mean, plastic yeah. bag is uh, it fills that bag with carbon monoxide. Oh, that's like the gas that its body produces to fill that thing. If it's attacked, it has a. Uh, it can like, blow out the air, and it can like dive underwater. No. Oh man. As a defense. Fuck. Well, yeah. they don't have any way of swimming on their own, right? So they just go wherever the wind takes them. And some of them have this, the sails like point off to the right and the others they point off to the left. And so like there's, they just go in these huge swarms and like sometimes the wind like splits, splits the group, like takes them two different ways. And that's just their way of like staying spread out enough that like if some of them wash up on shore, like others like, yeah, others just go off into different places. But they just oh, like wow. float in the middle of the ocean in these big swarms. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, because it it's got it's poisonous, right? The man of war is like so formidable that like nothing is gonna eat it unless it's a tiny little slug. Yeah, that can like not disturb it or like a big uh, sea turtle. Wow. Yeah. Because their skin is too thick to get stung. To anything smaller is gonna get killed. Oh, man. Stung to death on those stingers. Do you think it's possible? But it was whales. It's- you know, just swimming, you know, gathering food, you know, like yeah. a shark whale. And it, does it accidentally, like, you know, swallow a man of war and be like, oh, man, my stomach. Yeah. I'm a it's bad like, fucking yeah, sushi today. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. Would that, does that ever happen? I don't know. Wow. So, you know. Yeah. With the sea turtle, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, if you get stung, like, let's say if, you know, we went to the you know, the beach today, you know, and then got stuck, Eric got stung. Yeah. If I were like, yeah. oh no, is there a cure for this guy? It's, so it, do I yeah. just like slowly die? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh man. Oh, you we just heal. Yeah. What happens? Just give it time. Oh. I just... don't think there's anything they even put on it. Oh, really? There is no cure. <laughs> no Remember, cure. there is what? no cure for a man of war sting. Oh man. So, so fuck except about like, three days. No. Three days? Three days can be probably. In three days, there has never been a two-day cure for Man of War stings. Keep that in mind. One just found a Man of War on the, on the beach, picked it up, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Put it in the, in the frying pan, cooked it, you know? Do you think you still can eat it, man? Maybe a little bit of like salt and pepper. Yeah. Can, I mean, we, can we eat a Man, man of man Are of they War? edible? That's something that I didn't look into. Wow. Fact check it. Hmm. Fact check just being man or recipes, sorry guys, no results, but I do have some facts for you. You see, man of war is named after the Portuguese warship, literally called man of war. Like the ship, these guys have been seen all over the world, all the way up to Bay of Fundy. That's Canada, eh? And in Australia, check this out. There's over 10,000 man of war stings reported every year. And although there's no two day cure, they say you should pour some salt water and some ammonia, kind of like number one, just to ease the pain. Well, I would not have thought of that. Oh, man. man. I would not have thought of that. And, finally, I have some furniture of the Man of War band. Check this out, guys. Whoa! Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. They mostly sing about sword and sorcery and some Norse mythology. <laughs> But last but not least, from the 1997 classic episode of The Baywatch, <laughs> episode is called oh, Bachelor man. of the Month, The Man of Wars feature. Man Let's Wars. watch that now. Huh? Oh, come on, it couldn't have hurt that bad. Is this some Man of War? You're kidding me. Get the gas. Get the gas. God, look at the size Whoa. of the Whoa. Whoa. So guys, that's the Man of War. And your facts have been checked. Yeah, thanks oh. a lot. Thanks a oh, lot for that. Thanks. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, so uh, Man of War. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, James. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show. Right on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this week, Man of War, we just... I'll never. I'll. I'll think twice before I swim. Well, I go swimming. Yeah. Eh? Oh. yeah. Scourge of the yeah, ocean. Uh, Scared the sharks. Man of War week. Oh, Man of War. Stone signs. <laughs>